here today on behalf of Tecumseh's Parks and Recreation Department. I'd like to welcome everybody to John W. Smith Park, the future home of the A.J. Smith Recreation Center. Before we start our groundbreaking ceremony this afternoon, we have several people who are very involved in this great community project that would like to share just a few words with us on this glorious spring day. So, please join me in welcoming Dave Hickman, Chairman of the Board of the Lenawee Community Foundation. The Lenawee Community Foundation is thrilled to be part of this uh, great project for the Tecumseh community. Uh, we have a Tecumseh Grants Committee that's been working about five years with the city trying to find a way to make a project like this become a reality. We started out uh, thinking that one of the best things we could do for the Tecumseh community was to uh, come up with a facility. Uh, our initial thoughts were so that kids after school had a place to go. You know, right now in this area, unless they participate in, uh, in high school or sports at the lower levels, uh, there's, there's not a lot to do after school. But we've ended up with a project that takes care of that group of kids, it takes care of older kids, takes care of adults, seniors, uh, takes care of everybody. So it's, it's a real win-win situation and we're delighted to be a part of it. The Lunaway Community Foundation was very fortunate to have a large <laughs> fund specifically for projects in the Decumsey area, uh, basically defined as the Decumsey school system. Uh, John Thompson was president of the, the old United Savings Bank of Decumsey until 1962. And after his death, his wife and uh, our dear friend Merlin Downing, who couldn't be with us today, worked with them on their estate planning and uh, set up some trusts that took care of uh, uh, Ruth uh, V. Thompson and their daughter Ruth Ann Thompson. And after both of them became deceased, the monies came to the uh, community foundation. So that's what makes it possible. Thank you, Dave. And now I'd like to introduce to you our mayor of the county, Richard Johnson. We're honored and delighted to have everyone here to help break ground for Decumsey's A.J. Smith Recreation Center. This recreational facility will enhance the lives of residents of all ages by providing fitness and athletic programs as well as a positive after-school activities for local youth. On behalf of the City of Decumsey, I'd like to thank the Lenaway Community Foundation. With special thanks to Dave Hickman and Chuck Gross and the Ruth V. and Ruth Ann Thompson Trust for the generous pledge of $2 million toward this project. And to A.J. Smith for the donation of the land. This facility will certainly enhance Decumsey's quality of life by creating a space for residents and families to meet, play, and grow for years to come. This facility will be a lasting symbol of Tecumseh's sense of community spirit. Thank you all for being a part of this. Chuck Gross, he is the vice chair of the Lenaway Community Foundation and also chairs that foundation's Tecumseh Grant Committee. Chuck is also here today representing uh, the A.J. Smith Trust as the trustee. Chuck? If A.J. was here, he'd be politely declining all uh, naming of the facility after him. He was determined that the park be named after his father, who he obviously had a high opinion of. Uh, but on behalf of the trust, I'm delighted to accept uh, the naming rights to the building for AJ, because he's someone who richly deserved it. Uh, if we go back to uh, Musgrove Evans, I think AJ was one of the more extraordinary people to ever come from Tecumseh. And, it's pretty neat that he was able to uh, leave us this property. This is where he uh, was born and raised and uh, basically called home all his life. AJ started out here, was an Eagle Scout, went to the University of Michigan, uh, became an architect, and became quite a noted one at one time. One of the better commissions was the Burroughs World Headquarters, which I think at the time was the second largest computer company in the world. He uh, retired at about age 50 and became uh, sort of a professional hobbyist, but one of his hobbies was soaring, which he was the uh, five-time national champion, I think, and one-time world champion. One of his other interests was designing and building gliders and one of the, and, and airplanes. And he, they had, in Oshkosh, they have this big fly-in every year, and they had this competition to see who could design an airplane that was both fast and fuel efficient. And his 
plane that he designed, built, and flew won so many times they finally retired the award. <laughs> so he was really a, a brilliant, special person, but uh, also very private. So he probably wouldn't be overly excited about this, but I think in his heart he'd be okay with it. But I think this is really special that uh, we have an opportunity to remember somebody like AJ because he's the kind of extraordinary person who doesn't come along every day and should be remembered. Thank you. Now I would like to invite everybody over to our groundbreaking ceremonial site. Uh, immediately following the groundbreaking ceremony, those of us without shovels are free to leave. And uh, folks with shovels, as soon as the hole is filled, you can go to the <laughs> 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 <laughs